Well, hello everyone. Hello. I am Sherry P. Hamilton. Listen, I am not your ordinary life coach. And this is my channel where I share with you divine inspirations, things God placed in my heart to share with his people. And so today I'm coming forward because God has placed something in my heart and he's given me some many different things. He's given me a dream. He's given me the word. Um, he's really placed some things in my heart to share with you. And um, I am excited about this word. So I want to encourage you to come on in. As you come in today, say hello to me. And I will say hello back. So be sure to drop it in the comments. Say hello to me. And so that I will be sure so I can see you and say hello to you back. All right. I really like um, a community um, vibe. I really like to connect with my um with those that um follow my channel amen so i pray that you will take um take that to heart and that you will say hello to me all right um i want to say today my sisters um this is this is a powerful word this is something that i'm just going to keep it real with you i'm going to share with you from my heart i'm going to allow the holy spirit to lead and guide me as i share with you today i'm not going to retake this video i'm just going to it's going to be real and raw all right and so i'm excited about it so let us come on in i'm going to pray and then we're going to jump into this word today all right so, Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, God, I thank you. I bless you. I thank you for this word, Father God. I pray today that you will allow me to articulate your word, that you will just allow it to flow out of my belly like rivers of living water. I partner with the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, you go before me like I need you, and I, and I can't do this without you. So everything that I do, I partner with you. We are in partnership um, with you and God and, the, and Jesus Christ. Like, I partner with you to help me and to guide me to do the work that God has predestined or and has called for me to do up on this earth so father god i pray today that you would touch your people that you will allow them not to see me but they will hear you and i will be careful lord to give you the praise and to give you all of the honor in jesus name in jesus name so come on in everyone come on in i am sherry p hamilton i am not your ordinary life coach listen but um this is my channel where i share with you things that god placed in my heart divine inspirations right things that god placed in my heart to share with his people and so today i'm just going to share with you i'm going to share with you what god has placed in my heart listen i want to before i share this word listen got something on my nose there right before i um before i share with you i want to share with you that this month um well in the month of june in the month of june god had placed in my heart to encourage his people to whatever you do listen whatever you do you do it as you do it unto god all right you do it as you do it unto god and not to man amen you do it wholeheartedly all right you do everything whether it's um in word or deed like you do it unto the lord jesus amen so that was a word that he gave me for the month of June. And I've consistently said that. I, everything that I do, I was like turning people directly to God, all right? Not to me, not to not to my ministry, not to anything. I'm just encouraging people to go seek the face of God and do what you do from your, from your heart. Do it as if you do it unto God, all right? And God has shared with me, he said, at the very beginning of the month of June, he said, if we as we do that, that he was going to bless us, that he was going to bless us. And I have to be honest with you, the month of June was pretty rough for me, all right? I went through some things um, personally, and I was just, you know, I, I there were some battles. Listen, I didn't know. I, I was just ready to, like, you know, some things I was ready to end, to be honest with you. I, I was just done. And But as I continued to seek the face of God, and I kept giving God the glory, kept giving God the honor, and allowing God to work in and through me, um, I saw how God began to change some things. He began to allow some things to um, be better. Um, he just allowed some things to change that I didn't think that was going to change. All right. And so I was very, very grateful for that. And so as I was coming um, throughout the week, let me just say this at the end of June. So as throughout this last week, God has started giving me dreams. All right. He has started giving me dreams. He gave me some dreams and one, I'm so kicking myself because I can't remember this dream, but I know it was very, very significant. But one thing that I will share with you that he gave me the ability to share um, with you actually gave me three dreams two that I do definitely fully remember. Um, and one may be 
you know, I'm not a dream interpreter. So I, that one, I think I'm going to keep, definitely keep to myself because God gave me some revelation, but it was more for me, but it's a little graphic. So I don't want to share it with you guys at this moment. Um, but I probably will share it, uh, eventually, but one that I did see, um, and this was a dream that I had, um, this past week where I saw two feet inside of a stream. All right. A stream, like a stream of water. I saw two feet and I saw the stream of water moving forward, all right? I just, it was moving very calm. It was moving uh, with a good, even flow, right? And then um, it began to move faster. It began to move faster, all right? And the and um and so as i seek the face of god and god began to give me some revelation understanding on that from me all right because everybody you know they go through different things but this is what he gave to me those two feet he reminded me of his word he took me to his words it says you know like being steadfast and unmovable right always abounding in the work of the lord and also um he also reminds me of another scripture that says um be steadfast, not be steadfast. Is it be steadfast, not unmovable? No, no, no. Oh, being planted. That, that was a scripture. Being planted like the tree by the rivers of living water. Like being planted, right? Um, so that was just some scriptures that he gave me um, regarding like the feet um, that was in the water and that was not being moved. As the stream was going, the stream was good. It was a good, beautiful flow. Um, and um, he let me know that it was a stream. It wasn't a, a river. It wasn't a pond. It wasn't um, an ocean. Like it was a stream. All right. It was a stream of water. Right. That's 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 what I remember him saying to me. Particularly, I heard that in my in in the um, in my spirit. And so, um, so the stream of water, so I got the two feet planted and I have the streams of water and, um, he began to let me see the water flow, All right, I began to see the water flow and as the water flowed and it began to get more, um, I knew then that I didn't get the revelation. Let me say this. I didn't get the revelation. I didn't get the understanding until later. Um, and now it'll make sense. And when I finish this, but the water, I knew that the stream of water was a good thing. Um, and I knew that the flow was good. And so I had began to look up scriptures uh, dealing with stream, you know, and just the word flow. And um, and there were some scriptures, but I, I didn't, nothing really came to my mind at that time. You know, nothing that God was really speaking to me um, for, you know, about that. And so, but I knew... I, I had a glimpse of what he was showing me that that stream of water was good there was a flow coming all right and it may start out with a small flow but whatever was going to happen it was going to begin to pick up the flow because the flow of the water began to pick up all right it began to pick up and so i remember like man thinking man it's going to be a stream and it's going to be again the flow and it's going to be good like it's, that's a good thing right i had a, a good feeling about that and so I continue to pray and I continue to seek God. And for my women organization, every month, God always usually give me a word. And I don't intentionally, did, I didn't plan on doing that. But it's like over the last year, he's continued to give me a word, right? He continued to give me something to speak into the atmosphere. Um, whether it's prophetic, it is definitely a prophetic declaration like into the atmosphere. But he always give us plenty of scriptures and um, something to stand on as he give that to me, right? And so... I am sitting here in my car and I was preparing to pray and today is like the last day of June and so I'm praying and I'm like God what is it that you're trying to show me like I know that you you gave me these dreams and I've been seeing an overflow of water I even one of my dreams had a over a toilet that overflowed um, there was just some different things that he gave me right and so as I'm sitting here and I'm asking God um, he began to drop a song in my spirit. It was a song that says, I'm living in the overflow. I'm living in the overflow. Listen, <laughs> I began to um, think about that song, right? I'm living in the overflow. And so, and then all of a sudden it was like, <gasps> God just dropped in my spirit. Like that's the word that he's been trying to get me to see was the word overflow. He was trying to get me to see the word overflow, right? Um, and so 
And so he gave me the word overflow. And then I began to seek God and like um, um, looking for scriptures, like dealing with overflow. And there was just a few scriptures that he placed in my heart. All right. And there was a many scriptures. Like, don't get me wrong, because all the month of July, I'm going to be talking about this overflow. Right. But he did show, share with me that the month of July, I would be declaring a decree and overflow into the atmosphere. He did share with me that, um, that his people was going to receive an overflow. The overflow was the word. Overflow is the word for July. All right. Um, for my life, my ministry, and for those that's divinely connected. All right. So I pray that this is not just for us, but I pray that it's for the whole kingdom of God. Like it's an overflow coming. And so, and so I, I began to, so I just went on to the prayer line and I prayed and I declared and I shared with my sisters that God had dropped the word overflow in my heart and my spirit. And that we will be declaring that word into the atmosphere for this month, um, for this coming month. And God had dropped some scriptures in my heart. He had first, he dropped Ephesians um, 3 and 20. He is able, right, to do exceeding abundantly above all that we may ever ask or think of right and so i was like okay and he then he showed me he said that that scripture look at the scripture again and i look at the scripture again it said exceeding abundantly all right so that exceeding abundantly is not just regular right it's as it's an overflow it's more than enough right it's more than enough so he let me see that um that that was in that scripture i was like okay god that's really cool like thank you god and then he took me to the um psalms psalms uh 23 right psalms 23 and i'm just gonna focus on verse 5 because that was one that he highlighted to me um it says that um he prepares a table before us right in the presence of our enemies and he said he anoint our head with oil and our cup run it over do you hear me today our cup run it over and in some verses it may say that the cup uh overflows all right it overflows all right and so that was another one that he gave me and he gave me um confirmation all right that he's giving me the word overflow so overflow and so he's preparing that table he's anointing us and the cup is going to run over it's going to overflow all right and so i was so blessed by that i was like wow god okay thank you jesus like i see this overflow coming and i don't know how i don't know when i don't know what but i know that god is going to do that all right and and it was for those that for this month do you hear me i have to back it up that's why i share what i shared with at the beginning of this video that in the month of june at the very beginning god had continued to share with me that if we obey him do you hear me those that are that everything that they do is going to have to be in word in deed and they doing it wholeheartedly unto the lord like they you know that they they giving god the praise they're giving him the honor they're giving him the glory like he's been double checking us and some of us have had to go through so don't think that it's strange that if you really had to go through in the month of june all right if you really had to go through in the month of june and you was ready to throw in that towel um not with god listen because those sometimes you wasn't ready to give up on god it wasn't that at all it's just some situations some circumstances that you were in whether it's your job whether it was your marriage whether it's you doing something or, or changing god because god has been shifting and changing some things right Oops, sorry about that you guys sorry about that i'm gonna knock the phone over um, but there were some things that God was doing, right? He was shifting us and changing some things in our lives, um, in this month. And so, and so it was some rough things because he had to purify. Do you hear me? He had to purify. He had to do like, um, he always remind me of the, uh, the, the, what is this? The, the goldsmithman, right? Uh, when he put the gold in the fiery furnace, right? There were some things that had to be purified off of that gold, right? All the scum, all of the, uh, all of the, all of the scum and all of the waste and all those products got to come up and out, right? And so there were some things there that God was showing me um, that he was doing in the month of June um, within his people, right? So some of you that are watching this now, you've gone through some things, but you're still standing and you're like, oh my God, I can't believe I'm still standing because you know there was nobody but God. Listen, you was ready to throw away some people, listen, and if they didn't get it right, listen, then then God allowed them to stay. But if they if they didn't do it, if they didn't, did it, if they didn't do it right whatever they didn't do then god was gonna get rid of them like they were gonna have to they're gonna have to exit out of your life some kind of way like 
mm, that's a whole nother subject but go back and watch some of my videos you will see what I'm talking about there's some videos that I shared in the month of June that was truly a blessing and um, and God was speaking all right and I and as as always I share with you as God leads me and I literally have to live what I talk about so it's not just me talking about something it's me living it all right and so yes so let me go back to this all right so God gave me the word if he gave me some scripture he dropped in my spirit which was uh Ephesians 3 and 20 and he also gave me Psalms 23 and verse 5 all right and um and he then he gave me another one too like there's multiple scriptures you guys multiple scriptures but I'm only just sharing a few of these because there's more revelation and understanding and things that I want to be declaring and decreeing for this month that's coming up right um he also showed me John 10 and 10 all right, he showed me John 10 and 10. The enemy come to steal, kill, and destroy. He said, but my people, they always forget about the latter part. All right, we forget about the latter part, which is good. He said, Jesus, because Jesus came so that we can have life and have life more abundantly. Do you hear me? More abundantly. So that's another overflow scripture. That's another overflow scripture. Amen. More abundantly. All right. And so what he's given to me at this time is that his people that God is about to do an overflow and it's going to be so important that we remain steadfast and unmovable all right we're going to have to stay in his word we're going to stay in God amen and as God began to allow the flow to come amen he, some that little flow let me let me have somebody that little flow was just a test you guys that little flow was nothing compared to what God is going to do that little that little flow was just a flow right he they, you were in a stream you see you saw some things moving all right you saw some things moving but it wasn't an overflow and it wasn't consistent amen but your heart was being checked your motivation was being checked um you know your mind was being set to get in the right place and right position and the right understanding all of that stuff right so um god was doing some things in and through his people in that time um but yes he's about to do an overflow i don't understand what all of the overflow is going to look like but um god continued to let me know holistically that's one thing that he put in my heart like in my heart um spiritually mentally physically financially and emotionally for his people that have been seeking his face you guys like you've been seeking his face you've been loving on god you've been being obedient the best you can now you're not perfect yeah you don't come short sometime but you know how to get right back at the feet of jesus pray to god and seek his face amen david was a man after god on heart not because david was so perfect but because god david knew how to repent he knew how to get right back at the feet of uh, at, uh you know get back to god amen he knew how to turn around amen and not go back all right and so that's very very important um, I'm just trying to see if there's anything else that I need to share. You guys, I'm really, really tired now. I'm like, I'm getting tired, but I'm trying to um, share this because I want to get this word out and I'm not going to redo it. All right. I'm going to get this word out. So you guys um, just bear with me. What else is it, God? And is there anything else that you want me to share with your people, Father? Anything else you want me to share? Thank you, God. I just hear God just saying, yes, daughter, yes, daughter, yes, daughter, as in like I'm sharing what I need to be sharing. I'm on the right track. So the overflow is coming. Be prepared. Um, keep your eyes, your ears open and just keep doing what you're doing and keep doing it wholeheartedly. Keep doing it unto God and your blessings are going to come from unexpected places. All right. They're going to come. You're, you're going to be thinking it's going to come from one thing and it's going to come from another. Okay. Um, but just know that the, the stream is coming. And when this time, when it comes, it's not just going to be a drip here and there. All right. It's going to begin to, you see the flow coming down, but it's going to begin to pick up it's going to be begin to be steady do you hear me it's going to be a steady flow that's going to increase um with time all right so that is the word that i have to share with you guys so thank you so much for tuning in i hope that you have already liked and subscribed hit that little bell um for me say hello to me because i'm going to say hello back to you and again i am sherry p hamilton listen i am not your ordinary life coach and this is my channel where i share with you divine inspiration things god place in my heart to share with his people and you guys i just share it the way that god give it to me all right and so i'm very appreciative to everyone that um tunes in 
and I thank you so much. God, I thank you for this word. I ask that you bless those that will watch this word, that will receive the word. Um, and I pray that they will seek you, Father God, to know that if this word is for them, because I understand that there's different seasons, Father God. There's different times, there's purpose, and there's um, uh, divine destinations that your people got to get to before some things will come to pass in their life, Father God. So I pray that when they do watch this, that it is at an appropriate time and that um, that it is for them, God. I give you praise, God. I give you glory and I give you honor in Jesus name. Amen. Have a blessed day, everyone. Much love, peace and unity.